Well, they should be getting ready for finals. and said students at Lincoln High School are dealing with a huge distraction. This week, somebody vandalized the school, leaving a message of hate scribbled on a classroom door. K2 Stephen Mayer is live in southwest Portland with more. And Stephen, whoever did this caused a lot of damage. Yeah, and several days later, school staff are still working to clean up the mess left behind. Now students say they're vowing to work to prevent this from happening again. Shattered windows held together with tape, graffiti scribbled all across several bathroom stalls, all in eyesore. But students say it's nothing compared to what's hidden behind this construction paper. I just think it's just really disrespectful to the school and to all the students at Lincoln. That's sophomore Joe Fishman. He's talking about the swastika that school officials say was drawn onto this classroom door Monday night. There's never a good time for this to happen, but Fishman says the fact that someone did it on Martin Luther King Day makes it all the more painful. It makes it just a hundred times worse, it, um, especially because it's MLK Day and that day is for just like thinking about what we've had and just respecting MLK and um, for him to do or her to do racist or bright racist remarks is just unbelievably just. Uh. School staff sent an alert about the vandalism to parents like Elizabeth Sheeman. Horrible, horrible. Um, you know, that's not what I expect for Lincoln. She's hoping it wasn't a student responsible for all this damage, but she also hopes staff treat this as a chance to touch on a sensitive subject. I just would like to know who did it and try and maybe helpfully educate them to why you wouldn't want to behave like that and wouldn't want to be hurtful like that to people because this is a big world. Got to get along. Her daughter serves on the student council, so she'll encourage her to speak up and help other students take ownership of what's going on in these hallways. Lincoln High School is not about vandalism. And she won't be alone. Fishman says he wants those responsible held accountable, determined not to let one bad act ruin the reputation of the school he loves. I think this is a really immature thing to do, and that doesn't represent Lincoln High School at all. And the school is still working to figure out who did this. So if you have any information that could help aid in their investigation, call police or the school directly right away. Reporting live tonight, Stephen Mayer, K2 News. And Lincoln isn't the only school dealing with the effects of vandalism. Four teenagers are facing a felony charge after police say they spray painted graffiti on the football field at Grant and on cars in the surrounding neighborhood last week. Police say that investigation is also ongoing and more arrests are possible. We learned about the most recent vandalism through News Tip. If there's something you want us to know about, email us, newstips at katu.com, or send us a message on social media.